more tonight about the man accused of crashing into the police cruiser on Wednesday night. Police say it was 18-year-old Richard Barrington, a high school student. Channel 3's Dylan Fearon has that story. Richard Barrington is in custody tonight. He has not been charged with homicide or assault yet, but the state says those charges should be coming soon. Felipe Malero leaves a card at Officer Bobby Garten's memorial. And we lost a good officer. He was a very one of the best. Felipe's note is touching, a prayer for the family. He makes it clear this never should have happened. They weren't pursuing him, and it was just totally uncalled for. Him is Richard Barrington in Hartford Correctional tonight instead of wrapping up another week of high school. Felipe isn't defending the alleged actions, but knows Barrington's family is also impacted. I want to pray for their family, too, because uh, he's a victim as well because he's just going to lose his whole life. I mean, this is not going to impact him well at all. The 18-year-old Barrington just started junior year. We're told he had also been working at Lowe's and lives on Sharon Street in Hartford's North End. Barrington was pulled over Wednesday night by police for making a left turn on red. But when officers started walking towards his car, he allegedly sped off, ran a red light, and crashed into the cruiser officers Garten and Kearney were in. Donna Dawson stopped by the memorial today, thinking of Barrington and his mother as well, and his alleged catastrophic mistake. It could have been one of my children. I asked her to dig deep, you know, and to process it, and also to have compassion, you know, for the family and for what they're going through, and for her son, for him to dig deep. Barrington was charged with interfering with an officer and resisting along with four moving violations. Homicide and assault related charges are expected soon. A judge set bond at $1 million. We lost a good police officer as a result, but this young man is going to lose probably a good portion of his life. The next time we see Barrington, he'll be facing a judge wearing a prison jumpsuit back in court September 28th. In Hartford, I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3. Eyewitness News.